Hey guys, Anfield here, and I'm just going to do a quick demonstration here, or oh, try to make it quick, on how to install my mod pack. It's real simple. Um, some of you have trouble with it, which is okay. Uh, once you've done it once, you should be able to do it on your own um, in subsequent patches. So, And this should also be able to carry over multiple, multiple patches before I would need to update this video. So this is a quick demonstration. So after you've downloaded my mod pack, this is where it should be. Usually it'll go to the downloads folder. Sometimes you might have it specified to go somewhere else. It may even download your desktop. But uh, most Win7 computers will go straight to this folder here. And it's real simple to get there. Just go to my computer, and uh, under your favorites, it should have downloads. So here we go. Uh, 8.7 mod pack, which is what we want. Obviously, in future patches, it might be 8.8, 8.9, 9.0, oh, whatever. Uh, for right now, it's 8.7. So, uh, it should look like this if you have WinRAR already. If you don't have WinRAR, uh, it's a good program to have. Uh, you just go into Google, type in WinRAR. It's uh, W-I-N space R-A-R. It's real simple to install. Um, it's not a real big file. It's a useful program, so the future you probably use it. A lot of computers already have it, but uh, so this is what it'll look like if you already have WinRAR. Yeah, 7-zip should work as well for this though. So what you do have to do is you want to extract the mod pack, so we're going to hit extract here. I dragged it out of my downloads onto my desktop just for simplicity. So here's what you get. Um, here's your brand new mod pack that you can actually, actually look at. Um, so that's that. We'll put that off to the side for now. Uh, let's get another window open. Go to my computer. World of Tanks is most of the time uh, creates its own folder in a games file. So let's go there. Let's go to C drive, games, and here it is, World of Tanks. I'm going to use my EU client for this example because my NA client is still on 8.6. The EU is already 8.7 compatible. So obviously for this patch, for 8.7, uh, make sure that your client is already updated for 8.7 before you download and install this mod pack because uh, otherwise you're not going to work if it's still on 8.6. I think the North American server will get it in the next day but uh, for right now it's 8.6 so you don't want to use this mod pack until you're ready. For EU guys you're already set so I'm going to use my EU client as an example. Alright so in order to install it, it's real simple and this will be carryover from future mod packs you just go to delete your res mods folder right here so delete yep which is fine because we're going to add a new one so here we go res mods we're going to drag it from my mod pack into the file world tanks file and there it is right there make sure that you don't drop it into one of the other subfolders which is sometimes some people do that it needs to be in the main folder right here it was 8.7 um, so it needs to be right there now, if you just want the mods, most of the mods, um, and no XVM, you're set, you're ready to go. Just start the game with World of Tanks or World of Tanks Launcher, whatever you've been using, and you're ready to go. Um, for those of you that want XVM and those of you that have used XVM in the past, you should already know really what to do. You will need these two new files. Um, XVM in 8.7 has updated XVM stat to 1.6. Uh, 8.6 was using 1.5. As you can see there it says file version 1.6, that's the one you want. So you're going to want to move those in. If you're a first time XVM user, uh, you want to do that as well. Uh, you need those two files. And I'll show you in a second why. Um, the last thing, if if you already used XVM in the past, you, all ha you should already have had Dokken installed. Obviously, um, if you're a new XVM user, I've given you the installer, you don't even have to go to the website. Uh, it's really small, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it takes five seconds to install. My computer already has it, so I won't be able to show you that. Um, see, it already has it. Uh, it takes five seconds to install, and that's all you need for XVM. And you're ready to go, really. Uh, for XVM, you just want to start the game with XVM stat from now on, not the World of Tanks or the World of Tanks launcher from XVM stat. Um, again, if you're not using XVM, the launcher will do just fine. Uh, so if we start the game with XVM stat, let's see, it opens up. And there we go. I'm just going to keep this minimized for now. Let me log in. And 
see here we've got this is my EU client so not quite as fancy obviously uh, but here you go we've got a bunch of uh, things that you've already noticed uh, namely uh, you've got here a calculation for Windsor Battle calculates the credits you've made um, the average experience you're beginning, the total of experience you've earned, uh, the amount of wins you've gotten, the amount of battles, and it gives you a percentage of your wins. So that's something else as well down here. You've got the two lines of tanks. Uh, that's just for people that have a lot of tanks. It's a lot more useful. For those of you that are newer to the game and don't have a lot of tanks, you might be like, oh, that kind of sucks, but you'll appreciate it later. Um, the last thing that you can notice without actually going in game is your service record, which will have more options in it, as you can see here. Um, it'll give you extra stats and things like that, uh, as well as it'll also give you your efficiency rating in WM6. As you can see, mine is terrible because I have 20 battles played on low tier tanks, so uh, it's pretty horrific. But uh, the point is, is that it shows you that if you don't have XVM and you just run the regular mod pack, everything so far you've seen will still show up except for that. Even this will show up, but this won't show up. You won't get these numbers. Um, an XVM will just obviously show you regular stats in game. So that's it. You're all done. You're ready to go. Um, hope there's no more questions. If there are, feel free to post, and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Uh, but that's it. That's all you have to do. So it's just basically a delete your res mods, drag and drop the new one in. Uh, those of you that already use XVM should be pretty simple for you. Um, and hopefully my new instructions for those of you that haven't used XVM before make sense. That's all you have to do for my mod pack and you're ready to go. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, the mods and uh, good luck to you.